Hello and welcome back to the Windows Server 2019 basic series. Today we are going to look at managing servers with the server manager tool. Let's get a, a very quick introduction to what is a server manager. So server manager is a multi server management tool that is included in Windows Server for free. Uh, it has been included in Windows Server in its current form since Windows Server 2012. Before 2012 there was a server manager tool but it was nothing like uh, the one that we are going to see today. Server manager relies on WinRM to communicate with remote servers. If you don't know WinRM, it's a service that basically implements uh, WSMAN and it's used also by PowerShell Remoting. Server Manager can configure and monitor uh, different parts of a Windows Server like roles, features, services. You can also see events, you can uh, see performance counters and run best practices analysis. So, without further ado, let's go and check out Server Manager. Okay. So I'm logged on on lab DC01 because this is the only server with a graphical interface that we have at the moment and server manager is a graphical tool of course um, and uh, if you haven't changed anything server manager will pop up as soon as you log on the server. For some it's annoying, for some it might be useful I guess this is up to you if you like it to always start up automatically. But here we are. So uh, the first uh, screen that you will always get is with uh, the dashboard, is the startup screen. Let's go through what you can see in this window. At the top you will always see this menu bar that contains where you are right now in Server Manager, basically the address, contains a button that can refresh information that Server Manager shows you about uh, your managed servers, contains also a button where you can see notifications, and if you remember from the Domain Controller Promotion video, you saw a notification that you can promote the domain controller here and a couple of menus the first two let's say are the most useful from manage you can add or remove roles and features and do some other stuff and from tools you can open different MMC consoles uh, I guess some of them if you used Windows Server for sure you know them like computer management for example or DNS. Keep in mind these have nothing to do with server manager. They are just MMC consoles and here you have a shortcut basically. So we click on DNS, it opens the DNS MMC snapping. Now under the menu bar you have on the left part a uh, view of a couple of uh, contextual menus that we will go into shortly and the biggest part of server manager is the main area that changes based on what uh, menu you are in. Before we go any further one interesting thing I want to show you is that we can zoom in the server manager using control and plus And I will leave it at this level so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. So the first screen, dashboard. Uh, on the dashboard we have a welcome uh, screen, let's say, that is like a short tutorial. The only thing that I like to do with this uh, is hide it, so it doesn't appear anymore. But if you want to get it back, while you are clicked on dashboard you can go to view and you see you can bring it back if you miss it. On the dashboard page the only other thing we can see are a couple of uh, tiles or thumbnails 
with the different menus that you have here so you can see local server and also here local server and you have uh, with red any error that might appear in one of these tabs so basically we have an error in one of the services if you just click on it you can see okay yeah this is the service with an error you can start it for example or whatever you want a little more interesting is if we go to local server and maybe you remember it from the previous videos in this um, view we can see a couple of the server's properties and also we can modify them like computer name domain the firewall status uh, remote management this is very important if this is not enabled we cannot manage the server remotely with server manager from another machine okay uh, we can see also the installed ram the total disk space etc if you go here to tasks you also have the possibility to shut down the server if you maybe are mad at it or something and you can open a couple of mmc and cmd tools that are picked for whatever roles you may have installed on this server since this is a domain controller these are basically tools for configuring active directory events now in the events tab of course we can see events from the local server and they are filtered right now to show only errors or warnings from tasks you can see here the configure event data page and you can see the filters that are applied what event types to show how old they should be and what actual events to show and you have basically all the possible events that you have on your server to select in the services tab we see services with their status and start type and uh, yeah the name and you can start stop uh, or restart the services from this uh, this tab under it we have best practices analyzer which can analyze your server based on your roles installed and it can give you tips on what to improve to run it you just go to tasks run bpa scan and it will scan your server and uh, at the end give you some helpful tips to maybe improve whatever you have configured on it i will wait and show you when it's done how it looks so the analysis is finished and we have uh, a couple of uh, warnings and errors that we could improve if you click on one of them it will show you some details of what is configured incorrectly and what you could do to fix it in performance you can configure performance counters based on cpu and ram now, i haven't used this uh, feature in server manager and if you want to use it uh, please be sure that you will not uh, stress out let's say your machine so don't uh, make it maybe run too often especially if you will manage many servers with uh, one server manager console you can configure them by just right clicking on the server and uh, say start performance counters so you see i started them and now it's waiting for data that it will collect and last but not least you can also get a view of all your features and roles that you have on the server uh, you can uh, sort them by the criteria that you see here in case you have to you can also remove 
these uh, roles or features from this menu. Okay, let's move on to all servers. Uh, right now it's a little boring because we only have our local server here, but in case you manage more servers, of course you will see more here. And let's add our other server core machine. Right click on all servers, add server. And we can use Active Directory to search for it since we have Active Directory. Just put in the name, find now, it found it, select it and use this arrow to move it into the managed servers group. And in this moment, it's connecting to it and getting information from this server. So now every time if I click on uh, lab dc02, I can get information about uh, this server in the lower tabs. So the events now, uh, all the event uh, data is from dc02. The services also. You see best practices analysis has not been run on this server, so nothing is shown here. And we can also configure the performance counters on this server. And roles and features, of course. If you go to tasks, you can refresh the data that we have on this server. Now, the other free menus that you can see here are actually uh, not uh, static menus. They are dynamic. So whenever you add new servers, whatever roles they have, a menu for that role will appear here. In our case, since we only have Active Directory DNS and also all servers have file and storage services, only these three menus appear. And if we go on one of these, basically we have a server group with all servers that has ADDS installed. In our case, both of them have this uh, uh, role installed. Events that are specific for this role, and we don't have them. Services that have to do with this role and also best practices analysis uh, items that uh, also are related to Active Directory. The same for DNS, of course, and the same for file and storage. The only difference is for file and storage, if you see, you have an arrow here. This means now that when I click on it, it will actually open a uh, secondary menu with different sub uh, roles or different role features R like work folders, iSCSI, file sharing, uh, volumes and so on. And you can see for example volumes for the two managed servers. Now uh, let's say that maybe you want to create your own server group. So uh, maybe not just based on roles, maybe you want a server group uh, my servers or whatever you want it to be called. You just go to manage, create server group and type in a name, let's say test and select whatever servers you want included in this group. Let's put the two of them. And now we see we have group test and you can also see it in the dashboard test. If, if we click from the dashboard on it, it takes us directly to the group. And now we can configure filters for all the things that it shows us. For example, we can say that we only want errors for the events and we only want events from the application uh, log and here you go only errors from application we only want to see 
services that uh, are related to DNS and we can save this query so it remains uh, saved for this group and of course uh, you can configure the other things also so it shows only what you need to be shown now since we have this group let's say that on uh, these servers we want to install a new role or feature just go to manage add roles and features next and uh, in this moment we can say on what server we want this action to happen let's say that we want to install uh, something on dc02 and what do we want to install let's say i want to install a feature and uh, something very simple telnet client we don't need to tick restart because uh, telnet client will not require a restart if you click install it will start the job and you can see the status also in the notification pane and it's done So right now we managed to install a feature that is only on DC02 and we can see it now if we sort by name but first we have to refresh we have now also telnet client but only on 02 And I want to show you also if uh, we add a new role. Also a new menu item will appear here. Let's add the role to 01 this time. The local server. And something very very simple. Should be print and document services. Only the print server is needed. And we are done. We can also get rid of the notifications with the X. And just refresh. And you see a new menu item that shows only lab DC01. Because this is the only server that has this role installed in this moment. To uninstall roles or features, we can either go to manage and remove roles and features, or for example, if you are in the all servers pane, you select uh, DC02, go down, find whatever role or feature you want to remove, and remove it. And that's it. So basically it's a, a sort of shortcut. If you are already here, instead of going to manage and remove, you can open the wizard from the, this pane. The feature has been removed. And let's also remove the print role because we don't need it actually. print server actually we remove everything and it starts the operation immediately the removal has been finished now if we refresh it will get rid of that tab and uh, also i guess on dc02 it will not show telnet anymore 
or it should not show delete anymore and it doesn't so this was a very quick uh, look at managing servers with server manager hey everyone thanks a lot for watching uh, if you found the video at least a little useful please like share and subscribe it would help me a lot thank you again and see you in the next one